When you're given your first section with NCVPS, you're also going to receive your NCVPS teacher portfolio. Your teacher portfolio houses a lot of information that you're going to need throughout the semester, but especially at the beginning of the semester as you start to set up your courses. This is the template of our NCVPS teacher portfolios. On the first page, you have several resources that would be beneficial as you go throughout the semester and be even as you begin to set up your courses. Um, you've got your teacher expectations, you have late work guidelines, um, you have information on grading and intervention, student conduct and academic guidelines, and academic integrity checklist, information on IEPs, um, steps in case you have a school that you are not able to reach, as well as your teacher and coach handbook. So these are resources that you're able to come back to and look at anytime that you need. The next tab down at the bottom is your teacher information sheet. So it's important to make sure that you keep this updated in case your instructional leader or your instructional director needs to get in touch with you. Um, it also lets them know what your commitments are outside of NC Virtual and when you're gonna be available for your students for office hours. So it's important to make sure that you keep this updated. The next two tabs are what you'll use whenever you receive a section, depending on whether you're teaching a blended course or a traditional course. You'll use these to help you figure out exactly what you need to do to set up your course in Canvas. So for example, this is the traditional course sweep. Um, you will link the name of your section up at the top and link it with the actual course in Canvas. These are the steps that you will use to set up your course. Um, for example, this will tell you, uh, you know, how to set the course availability and you'll click on the document and that will take you to a checklist that will show you exactly what to do. Um, once you finish each step, you're just going to put in your initials and the date that you completed it right here beside where it says teacher completion comments with date. Um, like I said, you're gonna go through each of these steps at the beginning of your courses or whenever you get your section and it's going to tell you exactly what to do to set up your course in Canvas. So for example, you've got your course due date that you'll have to add in and this gives you a link as to how to do that. Verify your homepage links. This is basically going through to make sure that all of the links in Canvas work. Um, this tells you to set up your course documents, um, your teacher page, and again, you've got all of these links that tell you exactly what to do and you will do this for each section. So if you have multiple sections, you'll go through and, you know, make sure that you've linked each section and then that you have initialed beside each section whenever you have completed a step. You're also going to use this to link your communication journal. You'll use this template right here to create, make a copy and create your communication journal. Um, and then of course you'll link that here as instructed. As you go through and at the end of the year, you'll also use this for your post course sweep. Um, so that way, you know, you make sure that you're tying up any loose ends for uh, your course in Canvas, making sure that everything has been complete. So you will do this for whichever type of course that you have, either traditional or co-teaching um, blended. So the same is very similar for your co-teaching course. If you're a co-teacher, you'll also list your sections and you know, certain things only have to be done once. For example, linking your folders for your IELTS to be able to see only needs to be done once. Whereas if you have multiple sections, again, you're going to go through and link each course and the Canvas course that you're using at the top and then go through and initial after you set up each of these. So it on the blended page, it's very similar. It goes through your setup for the course and what you need to have, as well as your post course sweep at the end. Um, the, uh, the final tab that you have in your portfolio is the um, mentor checklist or coaching. So anytime that you get coaching or help from your instructional leader, um, you'll use this to kind of as a way to document the information that you've learned or the topics that you've covered. So like I said, your portfolio is something that's gonna come with you semester after semester. Um, and at the end of each semester, you can always go through and hide your course sweep tabs. So for example, if you're teaching a traditional course and you don't wanna keep the blended here, you can always go through and hide your sheets. So like I said, it's very important to make sure that we keep this updated um, and that you use the resources that are available to you.